a guy who is a bit larger than life who manages to con 28 ladies over 17 cities he's a charming con man he is very very good at what he does uh, uh, his modus operandi is that he goes to a city he uh, identifies a target and uh, he does a little bit of research a little bit of homework and then uh, he appears in front of the target in an avatar that would appeal to the target uh, so for instance he encounters different types of women in different cities and he becomes different characters uh, for the purpose of conning them uh, for instance uh, he uh, when he goes to delhi he encounters a very bratty uh, spoiled daddy's little girl uh, when he moves to bombay he encounters a very very different type of woman uh, a very strong woman uh, doing very well for herself in a male dominated corporate world of bombay uh, then the story moves to lucknow where you have a, a starkly different character a starkly different target for him to con he becomes different people so as to be able to uh, connect with them uh, he becomes sunny singh in delhi he becomes Iqbal Khan in Lucknow he becomes Devin Shah in Bombay his purpose is not to break hearts so to hurt anybody uh, his main interest mm-hmm. is money and it's a game for him he gets a kick a thrill out of uh, conning uh, women he's a very very uh, adept very methodical very good player very sharp very cunning until uh, and there's no one like him until uh, he meets his match just it just even in manisha's first film it never seemed like it was his first film he was so confident so clear about what he wanted the story that he's trying to tell in his head is so clear that it becomes so easy to work with him because you have to simply get on his page because nobody knows better than him how you as a piece are fitting into his puzzle he's a really extraordinary director in ladies versus ricky bell he is taking a script and told it in a language that is so new one of the films that would be considered coming out of this new wave of progressive cinema that's happening and he told band baja in a certain way but in ladies versus ricky bell his mode of storytelling is slick it's zany yet at the same time the flavors the desi rooted flavors of our country of the different cultures indigenous cultures be it delhi be it lucknow be it bombay they are all there he brings out these textures and flavors of indian culture very well he understands uh, contemporary indian characters very deeply he's presented three ladies who are three different kinds of women of today's india he's amazing with actors amazing with emotional parts of the film wherever the film has to be peppered with he doesn't bear you down in his storytelling with that emotion yet you feel it you feel that soul he really is a, a tremendous talent and a director who i think very soon will be considered to be one of the greats uh, it was we were shooting for the delhi chapter it's a scene uh, which is actually there in the in the theatrical trailer a scene where uh, i enter the the chadda household so i started with that i think akin arula has really outdone himself uh i genuinely do believe he's one of the best costume designers we have he's extremely creative he's very very instinctive in that he if he's given a brief he knows instinctively what he's going to do also he was very very courteous uh he helped me uh, his work helped me uh mm-hmm. during workshops he provided the the costumes for me knowing that it was a complicated character i had to play these different guys so he provided me with uh, one ensemble for each character so as so i could make that distinction for myself because once i put the costumes on i started automatically behaving like those characters and yeah the the six pack shot was it was actually there in band baja as well but it was there in passing so no one noticed this time they've uh, really done it justice you have to you have to not consume very much at all you have to have uh, intermittently just sip water and 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 suck on oranges for for the 48 hours that you're shooting the topless sequence for them to really show in the way that they should but yeah i'm i'm happy uh, that i did all that because uh, at least once in my life i will have looked that sexy and celluloid is for posterity so it's all worth it lack of innovation uh, and complete uh, conviction of oneself being very self assured i think um Uh, more than more than work ethic and principles and stuff it was really such a brilliant creative mind that uh, it just to to see to see him function uh, was a great learning for me because just in terms of uh, no let letting there be no barriers uh, in terms of your creativity you can't to, to not limit yourself to not restrict yourself so as to be as creative as you can when you're doing your creative work is something that i really learned from him.